That's not God's will. And let me tell you, if we would be determined, I will not speak unless I can speak and represent God. I will not speak. then what that would do would stop it. And the Bible said, let me tell you what the Bible said now, <laughs> to examine ourselves. Hey, I'm preaching to me too now. All of us. To see whether you be in the faith. Oh, what kind of statements that hurt? Check your own self out and see if you are. What does that mean? Does that also mean that you might think you was and then you wasn't? Uh oh, look out there now. Who, who wants that? I don't want nothing to do with that. You, okay, so let me say this and we're going to try to begin. If we speak as the oracles of God, we will say what He says. Period. Now, Hmm. Do you think, based on what Jesus has said, thank God, about the Holy Spirit, that He would ever, now I'm talking about Him, He would ever guide someone into an untruth or reveal something to you or me that is not God's will? Would he ever? Think about it. It's pretty simple, ain't it? Then if he's not doing that, then where does a lot of the stuff that we hear come from? Error. Or why would we be in error? I'll tell you why. It's because we're not listening to Him. Now look, we're all human, and don't misunderstand what I'm trying to say here this morning. We're all human. We can all miss it. There ain't no question about that. But the question is, is the Holy Spirit helping us miss it? Absolutely not. We, this book here, thank God, it's like no other book ever written in the world. Ain't that right, Brother Herb? And this is not a book like to either, to, to even begin to think that it's like any other book. These men that God had and called and anointed with the Holy Ghost was, was ordained by God Himself and the Holy Spirit to write. They were inspired. Right? Those men in one sense of the word, we're like no other men. In one sense of the word. Now there are brothers. Amen. Glory to God. But when they, when they, when they wrote and they spoke, Paul said in Romans eight, uh, thirty-one of thirty-two. I can't remember where it's at. He said, Romans, that's not right. That's the wrong place. He said, for as many, Romans 8, 17, I remember now. Uh, for as many as are led, now catch this now, catch this phrase. Many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Now listen to that. Listen, listen, listen. 
Listen. For as many as are led. Led. By the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. Led by the Spirit. Amen. Glory to God. 8.14. I wrote, okay. Eight, Romans 8.14. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Is that what makes us a son? If we are a son? Led. What would the Spirit of God, how would He lead you? Would He show us error? Error. I mean, as, as to be the truth. 